Hello students. Today let us solve a problem on average outgoing quality and draw the average outgoing quality for the curve. So in the question they have asked us to draw the average outgoing quality curve for the data where the n is the lot size small n is the sample size that is 80 and c is the acceptance number which is given as 2. So from the table what do we need? So AOQ is nothing but it is a product between so AOQ is a product of 100 P dash into PA where this is the percent defective and this is the probability of acceptance. So first of all we have to find this 100 P dash. So this is the assumed process quality. So usually we assume it as 1, 2, 3 till 9. So we usually consider that the process quality is varying between 1 to 9 percent. Now P dash is given as by 100. This is not P dash. This is 100 P dash by 100. So this is 100 P dash. Divide this number by 100. We will get 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.08, 0 0.09, 0.09. So in the question itself they have given sample size as 80 so I have written it as 80 for all the points till 9. Now n into p dash. So we have already found the p dash value and we know the n value. So now we will multiply n and p dash that is 80 into 0 0.01 we will get 0 0.8. Now 80 into 0 0.02 we will get 1.6. Now the same way we keep on multiplying these two numbers and we will get the answers as 2.4, 3.2, 4.0, 4.0, 5.0, 5.6, 6.4 and 7.2. Now find the probability of acceptance from the table. So from this table this is the NP dash value and this is the C value. So for NP dash 0 0.08 and C value as 2 the probability is 0 0.953. So here it is 0 0.953. So for NP dash value 1.6 and the C value is 2. 1.6 and the answer is of a C value is 2. We get 0. 809. So here we will write it as 0 0.809 for the NP dash value 2.4 and C value 2. 2.4 C value 2 it is 0 0.570. 0 0.570. Then 3.2 and C value as 2 0 0.380 that is 0 0.380 now for NP dash value 4 and C value 2 4 and 2 0 0.238 0 0.238 
zero point one four three. So the same way zero point one four three for five point six it is zero point zero eight three for six point four it is zero point zero six four and for seven point two it is zero point zero two five from the table. Now calculating the AOQ values. So I have already written as AOQ is equals to hundred P dash into P A. So this number hundred P dash is multiplied with P A to get this AOQ value. So for the first term it is one into zero point nine five three. So we will get zero point nine five three. For the second term, it is two into zero point eight zero nine. So we will get one point six one eight. For the third term, it is three into zero point five seven zero. And we will get one point seven one zero. One point seven one zero. For the fourth one, it is four into zero point three eight zero. One point four two zero. Fifth one, it is five into zero point two three eight. One point one nine zero. Six into zero point one four three. That is zero point eight five eight. Seven into zero point zero point five one. So for this last term, it is nine nine into zero point zero two five. So this will give us zero point two two five. So this is the AOQ or the average outgoing quality. And now we are going to draw the curve. So here we will take up the AOQ values and here it is the P dash or 100 P dash value which are the assumed values from 0 to 9. Now for the first term the AOQ value is 0 0.95 so which is somewhere here. So we will begin it with the 0. Then for the second term, we can see that the value is 1.618, which is somewhere around here, and I have marked it here. Then for the third term, it is 1.71. So I have marked it here. The same way, the AOQ values for the respective assumed process quality we will mark, and then we will join it with the with curves so we will get a curve and this curve is called as the average outgoing quality so here after joining this the highest peak point is declared as AOQL that is average outgoing quality limit so this is the AOQL for this problem so that is the maximum outgoing quality will not exceed the average outgoing quality limit so this is declared as 3% so it can be observed that from the AOQ curve 
the maximum outgoing quality will never exceed the average outgoing quality limit that is 3% with reference to this problem or this example. So this is all about the average outgoing quality problem. So here from the table we can mark this as the AOQL or average outgoing quality limit. So this is the highest point which we are getting from this probability of acceptance into the 100% defective. So when you multiply these two, the highest point which we get is the average outgoing quality limit and the maximum outgoing quality cannot exceed this limit. So I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.